composite material. Let's go up to our material editor and let's go and choose on our type of material. When we go to composite and we hit OK, I'm going to discard my old material. It's much like the blend material. The blend material allowed us to blend two different materials together. The composite material allows us to blend these different nine different materials together. And so I can pick as many of these different materials I want. So like material one, I could come in and say, oh, I want to go with a standard and I could set it all up, whatever I want. Let's just say I wanted some sort of reddish color, right? And I'll say, okay. And then I have to hit my go to parent. And you can see there's my color right here and this one here. So my material number two, I'll go to standard and hit OK. And in here I could pick on a different material color, say for example. Um, I can go, yeah, let's go right there, some sort of a green. And then I can go back up and say go to parent. And now I have uh, two different materials going on at the moment. And so I can add all the different materials I want. I got nine different materials. And so I can just pick whatever materials I want. And, and this by default means they're on. Uh, they're going to be affected. And um, I can actually come out here and magnify this too. Remember, I can magnify that. And so essentially, you're going to come along and set up all these different materials and I can get to wherever however I like them to be and I can set them all up and over here on the right is my composite type my composite types have three buttons an A, S, and M let's go and take a look at uh, these A and S and A, S, M buttons the A is for additive opacity so the colors will be summed together. So here is additive opacity. The sphere on the right uses the additive opacity. Essentially, they are adding the colors behind the material. Uh, so it works out pretty good for light beams and smoke, for example. Uh, and I'm going to go back. And then when we use subtractive opacity, we're going to remove uh, the colors uh, from the background colors. So the sphere on the right now we don't see those colors anymore. So in this case we reduce the opacity of the material. And the M mixes the materials uh, both color and opacity. So it, it's blending the two together essentially. Um, so we're going to come back here. So I can come in and set those if needed. So I end up picking all the different values I want of the different materials and I end up with a composite of all those materials put together. Uh, I get a composite of one material of all these slammed together if you will. Uh, turns out to be a composite material and it puts it all into one single material.